I'm Lori. I'm Lenny. Luna, at your service. I'm Luann. Lin Wow Jr. Lincoln. Hello, I'm Lucy. Lana, nice to meet you. Lola Loud. Charmed, I'm sure. Lisa Loud, PhD. Really? Well, aren't you all a delight? Now tell me, what's it like having a mom like yours? Excellent question, dude. Uh, ma'am, I think we can best answer it in song. Life in the lab house is like no other. And that's all thanks to our amazing mother. She takes me where I need to be. She helps me with my poetry. She's everybody's cup of tea. She's our amazing mother. <laughs> she helps us with our growing pain. And nourishes our growing brain. You should see her fly a plane. She's our amazing mother. She keeps us laughing, never solemn. She really makes our lives the ball. And that's why she should write your column. We think she This reviewer gives you five stars. <laughs> Another flawless performance, children. Now, why don't you head upstairs and play quietly? Can we clean our rooms instead? <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, Rita, this afternoon was absolutely perfect. Breaking news, you're hired. Yeah! Yeah! Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> I'm speechless. Mm -mm, that's all right. Save your words for the column. <laughs> Hey, I'm ready for the song. Oh, no, I missed it. Dear Homework Harpy, remind your children that they can have fun once their homework is done. It's a simple rhyme that will increase their productivity. Dear Manic at Mealtime, if your kids are picky eaters, just arrange their veggies into a beautiful mosaic and invite them to eat a masterpiece. Dear Bath Time Bungler, dear Mall Meltdown, dear Potty Training Patsy. Mr. Coconuts, you've got a chip on your shoulder. <laughs> hey, less jokes, more salsa. <laughs> duck, 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 goose. Yeah! This goose came to play. Hey, Lincoln, go long. I got it. What a fun idea, having our editorial meeting here. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I hear the guac is newsworthy. Kids, Psst, we need to go. Waiter. Please! <laughs> Whoops! Oh, my. Ghost, ghost, vampire. Oh, me? Wait, I'm uh, <laughs> uh, 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 What in the name of the funny pages is going on here? Oh! Hi, Mom's boss! <laughs> the Loud family? Uh, you got us confused with someone else. We're Flip's kids. Lassie, what's a tootie? I'm flattery, Yeah, champ. and I'm uh, literally a uh, Flora. Wait, what? Oh, that's okay, kids. <gasps> you don't have to lie for me. Hi, Jesse. What's going on, Rita? Have your children been bitten by rabid raccoons or something? Oh, if only. Now, this is how we really are. What you saw at my house was an act. But the muffins, the song, the matching outfits? All fake. I knew you wanted a perfect parent, and I wanted the job, so I'm not a perfect parent. I try to do my best, and some days are great, but some days are more than I can handle. Parenting is my favorite job, but it's also the hardest. I'm sorry I misled you. I'm sorry, too. Clearly, you are not right for the column. This just in. You're fired. Now, hold on, Jesse. I, I love what she just said. Yeah, parenting is hard. I wish that was in the column. Really? You relate to this? Yeah, the other day it took 40 minutes to get my kids in the car. Hmm. Well, I guess you both would know better than me. I don't even have kids. <laughs> Does that mean our mom isn't fired? This just in. Your mom can keep her job. Yeah! <laughs> kids, turn the TV down. It's me, Mama, your great-grandmother calling from Mexico. Squaw! Hola, Rosa! What a sight for sore eyes! You have an H a day! Paco! You learned English! I watch a lot of cable! Go now for a limited time offer! Rosa, hija! I'm all packed! 
for my trip to the U.S. I can't wait to see you and the family. We can't wait either. I'm going to make enchiladas just like you used to make. Gracias, mija. I'm glad to hear you're carrying on our family traditions. Your cousin Tacho's niños were just visiting from California. They have no interest in our culture. They just want to eat American food and watch American television. Will Janet find her first mate in the dream boat? They don't even speak Spanish. Sup? <laughs> what are we watching? My poor heart almost couldn't take it. Thank goodness you raised your family right. <laughs> of course. Let me say hi to los niños. The kids? Come on, Janet. Go for Blake. Uh, sorry. Bad connection. Bye. Hi, Sergio. What do we do? If Mama Lupe sees this, her heart might give out. Red, need a Mexican makeover. Hmm. I think you're onto something. Let me take those shoes. Your feet must be tired. Here's some special enchiladas. Extra spicy. Provecho, Mama Lupe. Mmm, qué rico. Oh. Ah. 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 Ay, qué picoso. I'm sorry, Mama Lupe. My bad. We may have overspiced that. But don't worry, that was just the first course. Quick, order some tacos. On it. <laughs> While we wait, música. La banda de abuelo. Uh, my band couldn't make it, but I have a special guest guitarist, Par, the produce guy. Qué bonito. Ay, no! Qué horrible! Par, stop that! Whoa! What? Loud? Yeah. Okay! Whoa! Ay, mi chivo! Okay, we call in the order. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, nice chonies. I have finished my masterpiece. No. Ah. Ah. Mama Lupe! Huh? Uh. Are you okay? Uh. Sergio? Ew, we're busted! Spanish flashcards? You can't speak Spanish. You don't know how to make enchiladas properly. And that goat is clearly a dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is worse than the time Tacho gave me those fast food tacos. Someone order fast food tacos? Uh, we could ask all. I... Ah, Mama! <gasps> we're so sorry, Mama Lupe. We were just trying to be Mexican enough. So your heart wouldn't, you know. Is that why you did all this? To make sure you didn't disappoint me? Uh -huh. That's exactly <gasps> what a real Mexican family would do. Being Mexican is not about eating spicy food or wearing sombreros. It's about familia. My heart has never felt, how you say? Más fuerte. Quack, stronger. Oh, Paco, what are you doing here? Mama Lupe needs a translator, too. Hey, what's up, primo? Oh, Ale, I brought our favorite Mexican dulces. Now in six fun flavors. You have raised the most beautiful Mexican family I have ever seen. But I could teach them a thing or two. Celio! Oh, uh, that means get us some aloe vera. Oh, yeah! Rock on, Mama Lupe! And now for the Mama Lupe Lucha Libre Smackdown! <laughs> Still undefeated! Uh, hon, don't, don't you think you should get to class? You don't want to be late on your first day undercover. Just a sec. I'm building a social media presence. It'll be so cray if I don't have one. Speaking of which, can you go to Swifty Pick and drop a heart emoji on my latest post? You lost me at cray. Well, Brita, have a nice day. It's Brita. 
see that guy over there? I totally have a crush on him. He's got such a cute cowlick. Oh, but like, keep that to yourself, because I haven't told anyone yet. Uh, Britta? Something on your mind? Dude? I can't concentrate! My girlfriend Sam and I got in a tiff over a riff, and now she's miffed! I don't know what to do. Tell me everything. Luann, are you gonna tell me why you brought me into this bush? I wanted to cut you in on a little secret prank I'm cooking up. Wait, you wanna do a prank with me and not on me? Shh! It's time! Who are we nailing? Principal Rivers! <laughs> Pranks! Yay! Well, I can officially say that this has been a rousing success. You've got your story? <sighs> I wrote the story in 40 minutes during a study period. Ah, oh, so you don't have to go back again. Oh, that's so great. Oh, oh no, I'm still going back. Lynn, when I am Britta, the girls open up to me for the first time in years. I feel close to them, and I'm not ready to give that up yet. Uh, I don't know, Rita. I feel like you're playing with fire. Don't worry. I'm being very cautious. I even got Britta her own cell phone. Shh, it's Lenny. Go for Britta! Hey, girl, hey! Hey, Lenny! Can't talk, Can't Mom. Talk, I'm on with I'm my on new, on friend, new friend, Britta. Do you guys hear, you guys an, hear echo an echo in here? In here? Nope. nope. <sighs> See? Totally under control. What's another day? Uh, Wednesday? Did I get it right? <laughs> Mama! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Down, Charles! Charles, no! <gasps> okay, I know this looks bad, but I can explain. Wait, Mom, why are you dressed like Britta? No, Lenny, Mom is Britta. You tricked us. I confided in you about Sam. I cut you in on my secret prank. And I told you about my cowlicky crush. Oh, girls, I just wanted to. We don't want to hear it. Let's go. Girls, I... <sighs> I made you tea and duck l'orange. I wasn't sure which would make you feel better. Thanks, hon, but I'm doing okay. I thought you already finished your article. Oh, I'm scrapping that version. I think I found a new take on it. Sorry I'm late, Jesse. I was up all night, but I have the article right here. Hmm, what's this? I know it's not the article you were expecting, but it's the one I needed to write. I was supposed to go to Royal Woods High in search of a story on teenage life, but what I really was in search of was connection. As a mom of three high school girls, it's sometimes tough to accept that your kids are growing up. This story gave me an excuse to stay in their lives just a little bit longer, but it wasn't fair to them. What I learned in my time at Royal Woods High was that as parents, we need to let our kids grow up and become independent, trusting that they'll come to us when they need to. Did, Did you, you guys, guys read, read this? this? <gasps> Mom! Mom! I'm so sorry, girls. I never should have violated your trust. We totes get why you did it. And we did have a great time hanging out with you. How about we do a hang sesh once a month? Just the four of us. We should start right now. Really? I'd love that. Uh, let me go freshen up really quick. It's been a crazy day. Mom! No! Uh, sorry, I planned that before I read the article. <laughs> ah! Morning, Mom. I made you a breakfast burrito and a coffee for the road. The road? Yeah, I planned a few activities for our big day together. Oh, right. Fantastic. Now here, eat this. We only have eight hours until you have to be back at work. Rack, seven hours and 58 minutes. Hurry up and get dressed. I'll meet you in the kitchen. <sighs> oh. Maria, I heard you coming late last night. What are you doing up so early? I promised Ronnie Ann that I would spend the day with her. 
I'm worried about you, Miha. You need your rest or you're going to wear yourself out. Don't worry. I feel fine. Mom, okay, so I thought we could catch a movie. Chupacabra 4! Ooh, I wonder how they'll top Chupacabra 3. Then lunch at the Make Your Own Pizza Place, then the arcade, and then the museum. Oh, it's the new nurse. I should really answer. Just a sec. Hey, Linda. No, we can't treat pigeons. Even if it has insurance. Happy to help. Sorry about that. Where were we? Okay, so... Mom! I was unpacking a crate of salsa verde and I got a splinter! What's the big deal? Just take it out. Oh, the pain! Jeez, Bobby, why are you being so dramatic? Here, let me... Ah, it hurts to touch! I didn't even touch it! Hang tight, sweetie. I'll go get my tweezers. There you are. I heard it was your day off, and I need you to pose for a portrait. Sorry, Tia Frida, she's booked. But Maria's the only one in the family I haven't captured, and I need to get this piece to the gallery. Ah, but what about my boo-boo? Okay, fine, but how about she does both at the same time? I can't look! Ah, I looked! Maria, stay still or else you'll come out looking like a Picasso! So, you almost done? Because it looks good to me, Thea Frida. What are you talking about? Maria doesn't even have a face yet! I'm waiting for the right expression. Okay, I got my coffee and I'm good to go. What's first? If we hurry, we can still make the movie. I'd better take that. I know you're too nice not to answer. How am I not your background photo? Come on, Mom! Way to the movie theater, I'll show you the sneaker store that Sid and I are obsessed with. That's, oh, great. And there's amazing street art on the way to the pizza place. And after that, we can stop at the Churro Donut truck. Sounds delish. <laughs> Mom, you here? <laughs> no, big, I'll just call her. Dang it, I took her phone. Okay, don't panic. She's smart. She's probably waiting for me at the last stop. Oh. <gasps> Ronnie Ann? Oh no, my phone. <laughs> okay, don't panic. She's smart. She's probably waiting for me at the next stop. <laughs> Name's Joe. Hey, sweetie. Mom, what happened? This was supposed to be our special day. I know. I feel terrible. Honestly, I was so tired. I fell asleep in the train station. Then I looked everywhere for you, but my brain was so foggy, I couldn't remember where we were going first. I'm so sorry I ruined our day. I'm the one who should be sorry. I had no idea you were so exhausted. I feel like a huge jerk. It's not your fault. I thought I could do it. Hey, there's still a little time left. We could hit the arcade. Tia Maria, I found a new match for you. He's between jobs, but he's super handsome. Ow, mom, I dropped a pineapple on my foot and then I spilled hot sauce on it. The pain, the burn. I have a better idea. Quick, come to my room. It's a living. Hey, Ronnie Ann. Oh. I feel much better. Thank you so much, sweetie. That was really thoughtful of you. No problem, Mom. You deserve it. I promise my next day off is all yours. Well, better go. My shift's starting, and Linda just called to tell me that some genius swallowed a wrench. Really? Man, your job is so cool. Would you want to come with me? Could I? Sure. I mean, we'd be together. Can I take the wrench out? <laughs> no. Everything you need to lead the club is in here. Stick to the book! Were the all caps necessary? Let's see. Common adverb errors. Noun versus pronouns. Snooze. Mrs. Loud? Lucy's mom? What are you doing here? I'm taking over the writing club for a while. Does everyone have their textbooks? Great. Well, you can put them away because we're going on a field trip. We've never gone on a field trip. 
Well, I was thinking we could venture out to find some poetic inspiration. Flips, what's poetic about a convenience store? You might be surprised. Now, I want you to take note of everything you see, smell, taste, touch, and hear. Does it matter how we hold our pencils? Not one bit. Mmm. Mmm, summer rain, spring daffodil, pickled eggs. Hmm, the way the sour cherry swirls into the black licorice reminds me of a sunset over the cemetery. Yeah. I've heard these sounds before, but I've never really listened. Flip. His past may be murky. His tooth may be jerky. But I think he's just quirky. Flip. Nice job, Amir. Hey, does anyone have a rhyme for flippy? Hippie, drippy, Mississippi, love. To the new and improved writing club. To, to the, the new, new and improved, improved writing, writing club. club. Everyone, pick an animal, then try writing a story through its eyes. <coughs> yes, I sense our connection too. Oh, why the heck would you want to hear my story? Every life can inspire art, Scoots. Sounds a little cray, but fine. I was born in a stolen ice cream truck. Mama was jonesing for some rocky road and wasn't taking no for an answer. Before you guys go home, I just want to say how proud I am of the brilliant work you've been doing. You deserve a chance to show it off. So next week's field trip is an extra special one. Open mic Thursday at the Burnt Bean. Guess <gasps> that coffee house in the cool part of Fern Valley? That's right. College students hang out there. Now get out of here, you creative geniuses. Oh, this right. maybe I can borrow my big brother's fedora. Thanks, Mom, for everything. It's Principal Huggins. She found us. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Just get up there and perform. Sorry, sir, this is a new golf cart zone. No golf cart zone? I've never heard of anything like that. Listen, bro, unless you're the kind of guy who isn't into following rules. Oh, no, no, I love rules. Oh, well, great, there's a golf cart parking 50 blocks that way. 50 blocks? Uh, yep. Thank you, sir. Oh, uh, sure, no problem, lady. The hot dog sizzle. The nacho cheese goes plop. In the snack aisle at Flips, the symphony never stops. Thank you. All right, let's hear it. Woo! So proud of you guys. You! Dang it. Did you really think you would get away with this? <sighs> no, I knew I wouldn't. But I had to let these kids share the work they're so passionate about, even if it meant getting fired from the club. That's exactly what it means. You're out and Huggins is back in. You hear that, kids? I'm in charge. Are you indeed? Superintendent Chen, I can explain what these kids are doing in such a seedy establishment, for which you have a t-shirt and a frequent customer mug. Huggins, I'm impressed. I don't know what you've been doing in that writing club, but you've clearly inspired these kids. You know what? I'm gonna improve your rating from mediocre to above average. Above average? Me? You've earned it. Actually, I haven't. This is the woman to whom all credit belongs. Really? Well done, madam. Thank you. But, you know, uh, Principal Huggins deserves credit too. He's given the students a very thorough education in the fundamentals, which are just as important as the fun. Well, sounds like you two should run the club together. Together? together. Something to think about. Okay, I'm headed to work. Hang in there, Mom. Eight more hours and you're off for a week. I know. I can't wait for a week of no boils, bunions, or blisters. Ugh, Mom, I'm eating. <laughs> Brad, get back those crackers. That's my snack. <laughs> nice job, biscuit breath. Hey, Mom's high school yearbook. Mom's in high school? She was, like a Julian years ago. Whoa, check out Mom's hair. <laughs> huh? It 
says here she was voted most likely to see the world. But mom's never gone overseas. Here she is in the Italian club. And the East Asian culture club. And the Young Explorers Club. <gasps> Bobby, when mom was younger, she wanted to travel. Ow! I wonder why she never did. Maybe Abuela knows. <laughs> hey, that's private! <laughs> Yes, your mother wanted to see the world, but once you beautiful bebes came into her life, she put her travel plans aside. Raising a family takes a lot of work, you know. Mom never traveled because of us. Hey, Mom has that week of vacation coming up. Maybe we can make it up to her by sending her on a trip. That's a great idea. Where can we send her for 12 bucks, a button, and a cat toy? No. This will cost a lot of money, but I know a way we can win her a free trip. Check out Mr. Hong's new promotion, a prize wheel. And the grand prize is a trip to Korea. Two packs of gum, please. That's good for two spins. Ugh. Come on, Korea. Come on, Korea. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Dang it. Congrats! You won the latest TX5000 fridge! It makes two kinds of ice, crushed and whole. Bobby, you can still win. Papa's mama needs a trip to Korea. Oh, congrats! You won a huge tuna! Hey, look, if we eat the super colossal pizza, We'll win a trip to Italy. Great idea, sis. Let's do it. Ah, let's eat. Whoa, they weren't kidding when they said colossal. Come on, we have to do it for mom. <gasps> Here's your pizza! Pizza? We thought we want a trip to Italy. That's right, a trip to Italy for your mouth. Seriously? You are a monster! Hey, Gino, these kids thought they were winning a trip to Italy. <laughs> Let's go, Bobby. Don't forget the fridge. We found your old yearbook and saw that you always wanted to travel, but you never got to because of us. Oh, that's incredibly sweet of you. But I don't mind at all that I never got to travel. Raising you two has been the journey of a lifetime. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, sure, I want to eat pizza in Italy and see sumo wrestlers in Japan, but it'll mean so much more when I get to do it with you two. Wait, did you say sumo? I think there's a way you can see the world with us today. Grab your passport. Uh -huh. uh, this is where I live now. A walk around our block is basically a trip around the world. First stop, Korea. And this was the tea ceremony. Oh, Thank you for taking me on the best vacation ever. Anything for you, Mom. Yeah, we love you. Oh, oh we love you Come too, Frigi. Okay, high schoolers got everything you need. Great, have a good day. Bye. Wait, I can't find my whoopee cushion. I don't have time for. Thanks, Mom. Toodaloo. Uh. <laughs> Oh, Mom, I forgot it's my turn to bring the team snack for practice. Uh, here's a half-eaten banana. Just, you know, cut off the brown parts. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I'm here. Officer, 
Ma'am, are you aware that you're parked in the bus zone? Oh, <laughs> I didn't even see that. Well, apparently there's a lot you don't see. This is your 50th parking violation. Oh, it can't be that many. I mean, I know I've gotten a few, but... <laughs> Oh, wow. I'm so sorry. You know, I'm, I'm shuttling 11 kids around, and sometimes I don't see the parking signs. Hey, isn't this the time of year you sell those police fundraising calendars? Yes, it is. But I'm not sure you can afford one, because you now owe this city $2,000 in parking tickets. What? I can't possibly pay that. Well, there is another option. Giving me community service? Just see what happens next time when you call trying to sell those calendars. Maybe this won't be so bad. Huh. Well, that didn't take long. Guess I have time to relax. Is it already over? <laughs> Too bad I only got one day of community service. <gasps> so, did you not see the sign? You know, the one right above that says no loitering? Oh, <laughs> I thought it said no littering, my bad. Doing. Oh no, officer, you caught me. <laughs> Just destroying this old radio in public, which I know is a crime. <sighs> so I guess you'll have to give me a ticket. That's not a crime. Oh, but it is. Section 415 bylaw W, willfully destroying an old radio. See? Mom, check out my newest flea. I call him Brad, because he lives in my pit. <laughs> Imagine this dress, but in mob. Uh, quick cue about the water barrel. Look how Ooh, fast he the most shoe Whoa, 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 kids, one at a time. <laughs> oh, it's fine, honey. Actually, it's great. I'm just so happy to see all of you. We're glad to see you too, Mom. Even if it is through glass. Yes, in my I don't Just keep it down, please! Oh. Oh. Ma'am, you can go. What? Really? Yeah. Now I understand why you needed a break. If you ever need some more time off, just meet me in the toe zone. I'll just save this cake I baked for later. <laughs> <sighs> what time is it? Nine already? Hi, hon. Enjoy your morning. The kids and I got ourselves up and ready today. We're going to try to do this more often. Don't want my honey going on the lamb again. <laughs> oh, honey on lamb. We should have that for dinner tonight. Can you pick up some lamb? Oh, no, wait. I'll get it. Love, Lynn. <sighs> I am one lucky gal. Oh, hi. I'll meet you outside for coffee and acorn muffins. I thought we'd start with a sneak peek of my exhibit before it opens tomorrow. Hola, chica. I was just about to call you. I want to post some publicity photos for your show, but I can't decide which pieces to post. Ay, it's so hard to choose between all my babies. What do you think, Carlota? Hey, art lovers. I'm coming to you live with a sneak peek of Frida Casagrande's latest show. Which piece do you like best? This portrait of a torta abuelo? Or Choo Choo Tonies? Ah, uh, Mija, I didn't say all your followers could get a sneak peek. The people have spoken! Choo Choo Tonies! <gasps> Carlotta, you look so. Ah! A 
obsessed with my new do from Margarita Salon. New hair vibes got me like… Got you like what? Frida, your turn. What would you like? Oh, the usual. Just a little trim. Mom, no! The usual is so last year. What hairstyle should my super cool mom get today? I know. I don't need… Ooh! It's unanimous! Thanks! <laughs> oh, I can't even see with these things! Who needs to see when you look like a supermodel? Say cheese! No, Carlotta, don't you dare! Yeah, oh. Just one! <laughs> they want an after picture! Give me that telephone! Oh. Mom, are you okay? Do I look okay? <sighs> Mija, I was really looking forward to today. I hardly even see you anymore. I don't want to share what little time we have with your followers. Mom, I'm sorry. I thought we were having fun. Here, take my phone. From now on, I'm all yours. Oh, thank you, mi amor. Mom and daughter vibes got me like, yeah, hashtag. Okay, let's just go to the spa. Welcome to Ah, That Feels Good Spa. You can change into your robes here and head into the steam room. Great! I'll just use the dressing room. Oh, that's a locker. Finally, Mujer! I've been texting you all day! Your exhibit's gone viral! I need you on your phone responding to fans. On my phone? When? Now! The show's tomorrow and social media engagement boosts sales! Right. Uh, it's just that today is not really good for me. Chica, 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 one is only viral but for a moment. You must seize the opportunity. And more importantly, your phone. Art life. <sighs> Mom? Oh, Mom, don't cry. Ah, Mom! <laughs> huh? The pleasure is all mine. <gasps> Our art-loving viewers want to know, what is your inspiration? Oh, I would have to say my family. I wouldn't be able to create without their constant love and support. Mom, you're on your phone? You're such a hypocrite. And there's my loving daughter now. Ooh, can we interview her? Oh, no, gotta go. Please, buy my art. <sighs> Have you been on your phone this entire time? Not the entire time. I'm not on the phone right now. Okay, fine. I was. After you took mine? That's different. I was using my phone for my art. It's important that I respond to my fans. Well, I use my phone for vlogging, and that's really important to me. Forget it. You don't understand. I'm just gonna go home. No. <sighs> You're right. Vlogging is how you express yourself. And that's no less important than my art. I didn't realize it until this moment, but social media is your paintbrush. Perdóname. Maybe your fans can vote on whether or not you should forgive me! <laughs> Mom, I'm sorry too. I was kind of overdoing it. I don't even want this. <gasps> it was actually nice disconnecting for a while. I wish we had time for a do-over. Me too. But it's almost three, and I don't think your father can handle the boys for much longer. Unless... Carl, CJ, I told you no water slides in the bathroom! <laughs> <gasps> Oops! Sorry, Mom! I didn't know you were back. We'll clean up this mess. You get back in there and... Whoa! Oh, my, hello. Dad, what have you done to Mom and Carlota? Did you hear something? I don't think so. 